may have met them before, some of you will know the story, but I'd like to ask Gregor and Judy Newton and their two lovely children to come up to the stage and Miranda Odom, who is going to lead on this next section in the programme. Do you need a microphone, Miranda? Has somebody got a microphone for Miranda? Oh, lovely, it's behind you. There we go. Do you want a changer? Have you got enough hands? That, that one, I think. Okay. Yeah, lovely. So, I am delighted and excited to, um, to introduce the Newton Award, which is brand new to SCAS. Um, and this is the very first year that we have done this. And it's all down to this exceptional family who have been working with us for the last uh, 18 months, probably, um, since a life event that changed their lives. Uh, so I would, um, well, first of all, the award is all about celebrating success and celebrating people getting involved and acting to improve uh, survival in out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Um, so, I'd like to hand over to Gregor to tell you a little bit more about why this is so important to them as a family. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Gregor Newton, this is my wife Judy, my kids Ailey and Harry. Two years ago, past April, I was lying in a hospital bed recovering from a cardiac arrest, trying to wonder what had happened and how I'd got into that situation. I knew I was lucky. I didn't realize until later on how lucky I was. But one of the first things that struck us was the amount of people that were involved in saving my life. Notwithstanding family, friends, um, first responders, bystanders, ambulance staff, call handlers, not to mention when we got to the hospital, the fantastic uh, treatment we received there. But we'd worked it out that we thought there was probably about 14 people involved in that process, which is really humbling. Then we got involved with uh, the symposium from afar, really. And then we were uh, with Save Life for Scotland. Uh, we realised that the amount of people all over the country that are involved in saving lives on a daily basis or attempting to. <laughs> It really is, you know, it, it makes a difference to, and we appreciate everything that you do. The people in Edinburgh, Glasgow and Aberdeen, each and every one of you that's here are making a difference. You might not believe that or you might not think that you're, you're valued or, you know, you're having a bad day or whatever, but please remember that from my family and from all other cardiac arrest survivors, we, there is no words that can really display or put out there what we feel of gratitude towards what you're doing. So that's why the Newton Award has came about. We want to acknowledge that uh, great work that is done uh, in, a, in a small way. And that's, that's where we are uh, in relation to that. So there was nominations from all over the country far and wide is which what we, what we wanted um, and when you look at the nominations it covers everything that you're looking for in relation to cardiac arrest. There's bystander CPR nominations, there was nominations for the fire brigades who are involved, there's first responder groups who are serving communities on a daily basis and training and um, uh, educating the local in those areas. There was call handlers who were given appropriate expert advice and instruction to people who were scared uh, and it resulted in positive outcomes. And then on a national level, there was a strategic nominations which is needed to guide and pass down information that is learned from all over the world. It was a difficult decision. I know that's easy for me to say. Um, and, you know, you're looking at these nominations thinking you know everybody on their merit needs or could do with uh, a mention 
Uh, that isn't me just being nice, that is fact. They were uh, excellent. But we've narrowed it down to uh, three nominations uh, to, for the award. We've got two joint runners-up, which I'm going to announce just now, and then the winner after that. So if the people nominated, or that we're going to announce just now for joint second, uh, will come up. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into what they were involved in, but just uh, it's, I think it says a lot for themselves. But the first uh, couple that would look to come up is Anza McGibbon and Michelle Kai, um, bystander CPR for a prolonged period of time with a positive outcome, and the Trussock Search and Rescue Team, who are truly awesome in what they provide in their local area. I think there was one part saying that there was 50 defibs have been placed, five have been used, and two lives have been saved. Uh, it's an, a, a really awesome. And Sean Barrington and Brian Devlin are going to come up uh, and receive the words from our, our family for that. So thank you. If you can come up now. And the winner uh, is Fiona Lane, Community First Responder Coordinator in the Isle of Arran. She can't uh, be with us in Edinburgh. She is in Glasgow, I believe. Uh, and she has done a short video uh, with her nominee or nominator. Uh, and I think that says it all uh, for what, what she's done for the local community. And uh, a great, uh, uh, you know, for our first nominator, our first award, it's uh, superb. So. Please uh, just uh, watch the screens and you'll see uh, the nomination for Fiona. I'm David Tog. I'm a GP here on the Isle of Arran. And I know Fiona um, with wearing multiple hats. Fiona is not just involved in the community first responder group, but also um, with the Coast Guard, with the fire service, and several other kind of activities, including um, some of the activities that led to this nomination for the Newton Award. I'm really grateful to those who put the Newton Award together because it really allows people like Fiona who don't really seek uh, much in the way of recognition for their activities to actually be recognised for the work that they do for their local communities. Fiona typifies community-minded awesomeness. She has single-handedly maintained a team of 24-7 community first responder cover for over 13 years to the Lochranza and the Catacol communities here on Arran. She gives her time without question to lots of community CPR training events, from cubs and brownies to older people and working with multiple professional groups. Furthermore, she has instigated the rollout of over 20 community access defibrillators across Arran, and in the process has stimulated these communities to not only raise the funds, but also to consider their own CPR training awareness. Fiona does not seek recognition, but she readily deserves it. She typifies the sort of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest championing that's required to reach the more rural parts of Scotland, and all with a sense of fun, cheer and selfless dedication. It gives me great pleasure that Fiona has been successful in this nomination process. I know there were other nominations of extremely high quality in this award, and it's fantastic that the, that the Newton Award has been set up to, to recognise this. But I'd like to thank David very much for uh, considering nominating me for this uh, award uh, and to the Newtons for instigating the award. Uh, there's a lot of time and effort goes in by a lot of people in rural areas to cardiac arrest care uh, and it's nice when you get considered for recognition like this so thanks again. I think you'll agree that we have um, some wonderful nominations and certainly a, 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 um, ooh, um, a, ooh, what's the word I'm looking for? A deserving winner, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and 
I think this, uh, this is the first time that this award has been held and we hope next year that there'll be many more nominations and we'll hear more about the wonderful work that's going on behind the doors, behind, you know, in the rural areas of Scotland, uh, the people that don't get recognised and the, the, the core, you know, the people that really matter and that we wouldn't be surviving without them. So please, just once again, a um, big round of applause to all of the nominations and thank you.